another video for you all. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And please share the video with anyone who you believe may help. Check out the new Narc Survivor Reddit community. It's a private community for survivors to share their knowledge and experiences. A great place to find supportive and understanding people. To join the Narc Survivor private Reddit community, please sign up through our Patreon page in the video description. Narcissists are weak and inferior. A lot of people get this mixed up. They fall for the narcissist's grandiosity and intimidation tactics. This is a front. It's designed to provoke the very feelings that they feel within you. Narcissists are not grandiose or intimidating people. They are not aggressive or confrontational. They feel vulnerable and scared on the inside. That's what causes them to act out all of the time. Imagine a little kitten who doesn't know you. The kitten attacks you with their claws or bites you. The little kitten has to play the role of being vicious and aggressive because on the inside the kitten is terrified of you. It's the same thing with a narcissist. The narcissist feels all kinds of emotions when you are in their presence. They feel intimidated and fearful. They feel small and insignificant. Which is why they will go out of their way and do whatever they can to make you feel this way. Narcissists are very weak, fragile people. This is why in any situation they will have to abuse and manipulate you. They will have to gaslight you and distort your perception of reality. They have to even the playing field, and then some. Before they abuse and manipulate you, you are far more functional and emotionally stable than they are. They know this, and it reminds them how weak and inferior they are. They see you as being above them, superior to them. So of course they will attempt to bring you down to their level. Their level of emotional instability. Their level of self-hatred, anger, envy and jealousy. Low vibrational energy. They live in this daily and they are sick of you walking around with your high vibrations making them feel like shit. So their inferiority complex drives their need to plot against you and want to destroy you. But their level of inferiority is so great that no matter how much they abuse or manipulate you, they will still always feel inferior to you. No matter how much they try to knock you down, it will never be enough. And that should remind you just how inferior these people feel. The fact that they have this daily ritual of lowering your self-worth, self-esteem and self-belief should remind you how low theirs must be. Because no matter how worthless and insignificant they might make you feel, they will continue to abuse and manipulate you. Because no matter how worthless and ins insignificant you feel, they are always feeling worse. 
and their actions and behaviours are clear evidence of that. The narcissist always feels inferior to you. Another flaw in their program is that they rarely choose sources that are inferior to them. They could easily abuse and manipulate someone who they do believe is below them, but it doesn't gratify them in any way. The narcissist gets a kick out of targeting someone they perceive as being superior to them in some way. Someone who is more successful, more talented, more liked. Someone with more money, material things, or something else that the narcissist is envious of. I can't stress how greatly this gratifies the narcissist. They intentionally gravitate towards these kinds of people like a moth to a flame. At first they are fascinated about how they can be so successful, talented or liked. But then they realize that they do not possess those qualities or they do not have that money or that house. Now the greatest, most gratifying thing they could do from this point on is to drag you through the mud and watch you suffer. Suffer for everything you show to the narcissist that they wanted so bad but could never achieve. This is where their sadistic nature comes from. Because without you even knowing, they have been suffering in silence. Watching your life. Watching all the things you do. All the things you have. You have been causing narcissistic injury after injury without even knowing. Even if they weren't around you personally. They were watching all the pictures and videos you uploaded on social media. Yeah. They spent night after night watching your life. Watching you enjoy all of those great things you had going on. And it made them sick. At this point. It's nothing for them to abuse and manipulate you. It's nothing for them to make you suffer. Because they've been suffering too. For a long time. And in their minds they believe you caused that. You made them feel that way. Because the narcissist expects everyone to be miserable and dissatisfied like them. This is like an unspoken rule to them. And they expect you to know that. So with you being the successful, talented or liked person at this time in your life. And having all of these great qualities. Money, material things. Maybe a nice house or fancy car. The narcissist is looking at this stuff. And you are emotionally destroying them. Or at least. That's how they see it. Because they cannot self reflect. They cannot look within themselves and take responsibility for their own emotions. So the narcissist becomes hateful. Both to themselves and to you. They become angry, envious, and jealous. Now they want to take away all of these great things which you possess because they feel inferior to you. At this point, they want to sabotage every aspect of your life. They want to see you crawling on the floor, begging for mercy. They want to see you pay for every emotion, every bit of pain that they believe you made them feel. 
because you had all of those great qualities which they wanted but will never have you got to experience all of those things that they wanted to experience so bad but they will never get to experience that so at this point they basically want to kill you but as I said narcissists are weak so although they may display aggression or intimidation tactics towards you it's just a front because seeing you live in your life they feel as though you have displayed aggression to them your life and your good qualities have intimidated them they felt like you were attacking them you were hurting them hurt people hurt people and as far as they are, are concerned you are responsible for their pain not because you did anything to them but because you showed them what they want but do not have and possibly will never have so they will try to make you feel the same way they will try to make you feel worthless or insignificant they will try to intimidate you because that's how they have felt all of this time but they never self-reflected they never confronted those emotions so now they have to project them onto you they have to make you feel the way that they believe you have made them feel that is most gratifying for the narcissist to see their victim experience the very emotions that they choose not to deal with just know because you were successful talented or liked because you had money or power the narcissist is never going to forgive or forget while people close to you may have been excited and appreciative of the qualities which you possessed for the narcissist it was heavily traumatic it may have given them post-traumatic stress disorder to see you having everything that they always wanted but never had to see you experiencing things that they will never get to experience I cannot even describe how traumatizing how degraded and worthless the narcissist felt from witnessing those aspects of your life but I don't think I need to describe that they do it better than I ever could just look at their actions and behaviors that will remind you of how weak and inferior they really feel their actions and behaviors are based off their weak emotions and I believe that could be their post-traumatic stress response witnessing your significant worth and superiority over them has been a very traumatic experience for the narcissist and if you look at them the dysfunctional thoughts they act on endlessly their actions and behaviors it reveals just how incredibly traumatic it was for them but you are not responsible for how they feel you did nothing to them if your success talent or likability is traumatizing them and causing them to act out in this rational and dysfunctional way 
It should only reinforce your understanding of how envious and jealous these people really are. They will even stalk and harass you in an attempt to resolve the trauma which they believe you have caused. It will never be resolved by stalking or harassing you. They have to resolve it within themselves. Yet they continue to stalk and harass you, which only feeds their trauma. It creates a trauma bond for them. And that's what creates the addiction. A traumatic event occurs in their lives, which we, we may have unknowingly played a part in. And then they are stalking and harassing you in an attempt to, to resolve it. But they will never put in the work to heal that trauma. They want a quick fix, which can only ever be a temporary solution. So they will continue being the weak and inferior narcissist they are. That's their problem, not yours. Do not feel responsible for their self-inflicted traumas. If you don't like someone or something, you don't keep going back to it. You don't keep going back to someone or something that hurts you. If you keep returning to someone you are hateful, angry, envious or jealous, jealous towards, it will be a traumatic ex experience. It will create a trauma bond and you will develop an addiction to them. You will continue to bond with them over the trauma in a way that is more damaging to you. I just want to make that clear as it is not only the victims of narcissistic abuse who fall prey to the trauma bond. I have unknowingly traumatized many narcissists just by being me, just by living my life. This created a trauma bond for them where they can't leave me alone. It creates an obsession. And I'm sure many of you have experienced this. But do not feel responsible for them. They are weak and inferior. Yet they choose to return to the very person or thing they claim is not good. The very person or thing that they are envious and jealous of. They can't leave alone. Of course that that's going to be a traumatic experience and will create a trauma bond for them over time. But in this type of situation, it doesn't mean that it is your fault. Remember, they are making the choice to return to us. Returning to something they cannot be around without their dysfunctional behaviours. Because they are struggling to cope with the pathological envy and jealousy they so endlessly feel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this information provided you with more knowledge and understanding of the narcissist and why they behave the way that they do. Please share your thoughts in the comments and I will talk to you soon.